you want me to introduce. Mm-hmm. Go for it. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do a review now for Now You See Me. First, I'll introduce, I don't know. Zach. Zach. We got our friend Nico back there. Nico, Bill, and Nico, and then Steven. I didn't see the movie, and neither did Nico, so Zach's gonna be the one explaining everything. I'm Zach. Zach, right over here. Um, so I guess we'll start with, what was Now You See Me all about? Um, now You See Me is about this group of magicians, I guess you could say. Some of them have like, you know, like one's like a psychic, one, or like a psych, I don't remember what they use, they have a specific name for it, but basically you can tell a lot about people. Um, and then there's, you know, there's just all these different kinds of magicians, and they all have their little different talents and stuff, and they all get rounded up. At the beginning, they're all doing their own solo acts and stuff, and some of them are, you know, famous, and some are, a couple characters are, like, kind of conny, they, like, con people for money and stuff, but they're still kind of good people in a way. Um, they try to all make the, the movie tries to make everyone seem really charming and everything, and then they all get rounded up in the beginning, after their little intros by a mysterious character, you don't find out to you don't find out who he is until the very end. <clears throat> and they're all secretly working for him to do this mission. I don't know, man. Parts of it lost me a little bit because partially because I was a little tired and it was a little late showing, but partially just because this movie kind of really is like, hey, you should care about this, and it's like with doing that, you don't care. I don't know. Um, so it forces you to care. So it, for, it tries to force you to care about what's going on, and I just didn't. I mean, it could huh. be just me, because it's getting pretty good reviews, so I feel like it, it might just be me a little bit. Um, I didn't really have any expectations seeing this movie, so it's not that you know I had high expectations or anything, and it just sort of left me feeling like I didn't need to see it, really. Honestly, like, I don't... So were you asking yourself why you were there when you were watching it? Yeah, I was asking myself, like, why am I even watching this? Like, to be honest... And I'm not really a fan of... Sorry to bounce Michael around. I'm whatever. not a fan of that kid. Oh, God, he drives me nuts. I hate... I'm sorry, but I just... I hate him. Like, I hate him as an actor. He In every movie he's in, he acts the same, which is fine, if I didn't hate how he acted in every single movie. He's just annoying. His voice, he seems really nervous when he talks. Oh, Jesse kind Eisenberg. Of, Je, yeah, Jesse Eisenberg, I think is his name. Something like that. He's in, like, that Facebook movie. He's in Zombieland. He's in a couple other ones. And in just every single one. And then in this one, actually, he kind of acts a little different in the way that... In the other ones, he's kind of... His roles are usually kind of insecure. He seems more confident like a, in this movie. Yeah, he's really, really confident in this one. Trailer. And it does not fit him well at all. Oh, my gosh. I remember there were some scenes where they wanted him to be, like, kind of like a smart-ass, badass kind of a character. And it just did not play well with me. I'm like, that does not fit who that guy is. I'm sorry. I just do not believe that. Probably because he's getting stereo typed. Yeah. No, no, just like how it doesn't fit with how he acts. Like, he should just be that Michael Sarah type of actor. Yeah, so. Like, it didn't fit with me. I don't know. It just did just something. Type You'll have casting. to see it, I guess, and see. But just, and like, there's some lines where he's, he's talking so fast and so nervous that I was actually holding my breath while he was talking because I was nervous for him like it was a play. Like, I was feeling like he was going to screw up because he was so nervous sounding. But I mean, it's like, it's a movie. Obviously, he's not. But I was getting that feeling. Anyways, moving on. Woody... Harrelson, I believe, is his name. He's in this movie. He's fine. Um, there's a couple parts in this movie where, I mean, the whole movie's trying to be overly charming, and there's a couple parts in it where it's, it tries to be funny, and I didn't find it funny at all. I don't know why. Maybe I just didn't get the humor. Not that I didn't get it. I just didn't, under, I don't think that that kind of humor's funny. Um, Woody's fine, I suppose. Uh, Mark Ruffalo, everyone said, did a fantastic job in this. I didn't even know who Mark Ruffalo was until The, the Avengers. Avengers. And everyone says he's the best Hulk, whatever, whatever. I thought he was another actor. And I was like, yeah, he's fine. I didn't really care about the Hulk. And in this one, again, I don't I don't really care for Mark Ruffalo. Therefore, I didn't think he really did that great of a job. He actually also kind of like Jesse Eisenberg. Some of his lines were interesting. Uh, his acting was a little weird in that. And he's a cop, so I was expecting him to act like a cop. And he's kind of acting not like a cop. I don't know. You'll have to see it. Anyways, uh, one thing that really annoyed me uh, about the movie was the camera. Whoever was filming this movie, the cinematography, the cinematography, 
or whatever drove me bananas. Like the camera, every, I was actually started paying attention to it because it actually distracted me. The camera spins, you know, where it goes around the people mm-hmm. and it's supposed to be like that fancy angle. It does it back to back, like multiple, like I counted 10 times in one like whole thing. It did a spin, then it, it like cut to another scene of it spinning the opposite way and then it just kept spinning. I'm like, stop it. What are you doing? And it did that throughout the whole movie. Throughout That's the weird. whole movie, when you see it, it, it got me dizzy sometimes because I'm like, whoa, dude, stop with the spinning. It was trying to be all cool and fancy. And like that, I like those camera angles. They're cool every once in a while throughout a movie. Not basing your movie to have only those kind of camera angles. So I didn't like that. That drove me nuts. Um, and, you know, and they're doing all these crazy acts and stuff. Some of them are pretty cool um, and stuff. I mean, it, it was just kind of an average movie. Like, I, honestly, I felt like I didn't need to see it. I really wasn't that hyped for it. I don't necessarily think that that's why I didn't enjoy it. I just thought it was trying to be... It wanted you to like it a little too much. It was trying to be overly charming. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly... And then the plot... There's a twist at the end. I'm not going to spoil it. Someone's not who they say they are. Um, and then there's there's some other mini twists in there. You know, and it, it was a surprise. I didn't see it coming until, like, right before they revealed it. And then I was like, oh, you know what? It's probably this person. Yep, it is. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, if you really like, uh, magician movies, if you were a big fan of, like, maybe The Prestige, and you want, like, a softer version of that or something, I don't know, I I suppose you could go see it. Matinee, I wouldn't pay, you know, eight or nine or even ten dollars to go see it, honestly. Um, it's worth a rental, I suppose. I definitely wouldn't buy it, and I definitely wouldn't see it again. Even if all my friends were going, I probably wouldn't go see it again. Um, I do want to see it one more time later, uh, probably when it comes out on DVD. I might, you know, wait for one of my friends to like Netflix it or something to see if my opinions changed. Because I was kind of tired, I will admit that. But uh, there was actually one part where in the middle of it where I actually fell asleep. So, but I only blacked out for about like a minute or so two. You're saying it's tailed. not a movie that could keep you awake. No, yeah, it couldn't. It, it could not keep me awake, and we saw it at like ten, so it wasn't you know super super late. But it definitely helped put me to sleep. So, like, right towards the, the middle, there was just a lot happening, and I don't know. And I just wasn't caring enough about it. But anyways, definitely rent it. If you if you like those kind of movies, if you like really like Jesse Eisenberg or uh, Mark Ruffalo, or um, they had a couple people from Batman, and they had Morgan Freeman. You know, he was, he was fine in it. He was actually pretty cool. I actually like Morgan Freeman in it. Um, if you're a fan of those guys, I mean, I guess go see it. I'm a fan of them. I wouldn't really want to go see it necessarily. Um, yeah, it's an average movie. See it matinee if you like the people, and then see it on DVD if you can wait. I would wait. I would wait and get it on Netflix or something for, for free or if somebody rents it. So anyways, yeah, that's my review. I'll give it a... I'll give it 2.5 cardboard boxes out of 5. I... No, not a fan. Not a fan. Their magic tricks didn't impress me. They're a little rabbit out of the hat. Nah, I don't, I don't like... I don't even like rabbits anyway, so... I don't even care about that. Anyways, stay tuned. Look at my butt. There it is. I messed this up again. What?